COVID and the holidays causing stress and difficulties for many families right now. CBS 4's Eric Graves talked to healthcare professionals about the struggles of the holiday season and how you can help yourself and your family. Eric? Uh, Bob, this time last year, the hope was we wouldn't be dealing with a continued pandemic for this year's holidays. But instead, here we are with daily average cases and hospitalizations only continuing to increase. The current COVID wave is second only to what we saw last year during the holiday months. Daily case counts often at more than 5,000, while hospitals are dealing with most COVID patients since early January of this year. It does indeed cause an anxiety and anxiousness. Kimberly Rusununguku is a licensed social worker. She says this adds on to the stress the holidays already bring. People are sick and tired of being sick and tired. Just to have an understanding that, you know, we're all going through tough times. Licensed mental health counselor Kimball Richardson says it's important to give everyone a little more grace during this time. And if you know the holiday will be stressful on your mental health, plan ahead. How much time you think you may uh, be willing to spend in that situation, have some coping skills on hand. On top of COVID concerns adding to anxiety, the disagreements about the virus regarding masks and vaccines are causing families grief as well. Richardson says boundaries need to be set. And it could be that I will be with the family, but not talk about this issue. Of all the negatives COVID has brought to everyone's mental health, Rusun Nguku says there has been one big positive. High profile celebrities and athletes talking about their own struggles with mental health. COVID made therapy okay. That word is not so taboo anymore. The good news about the differences in our current COVID wave and this time last year is the deaths. We're seeing roughly a third of the COVID deaths right now than we were seeing this time last year. We have resources right now on our website for anyone looking for help with their mental health. In the newsroom, Eric Graves, CBS4 News.